Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Jewelry Star Lua Liquid Lipstick Swatch video. So if you like swatch videos make sure you give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please hit that red subscribe button and if you would like to be notified every time I upload a video please click that little bell button down below and you get a post notification on your phone. Now I'm going to get into the video. I'm going to swatch from lightest to darkest in his normal liquid lipstick line. So I have swatched none of the collections. I think I'm going to save that for a separate video. Uh, before I get into the video, I'm just going to say what my skin tone is. I have a fair neutral skin tone. I have found with these liquid lipsticks that they tend to look different on different types of skin tones. So if it if you have more of a fair, warm undertone, it will look different. If you have a more cooler, to cooler, fair tone, it will look different on you as well. They definitely do come out darker than what they appear in the tube with some shades. I will definitely say that when swatching them. So the first one I'm going to start off with is I'm Nude. It's just this flesh tone see it looks bare it looks nearly the same as my skin tone now this looks more like a light flesh pink on me I wouldn't recommend applying this on dry cracked lips make sure you prep and moisturize your lips before going in with a li liquid lipstick I just used my bite beauty agave lip mask and I just wiped off the excess then and my lips feel very smooth. This shade in particular, see this is just one swipe now. It is definitely slightly patchy. I find that with most, some of his more lighter, brighter shades, they definitely can be a teeny bit streaky. This one is not like bad bad just gonna go in with a little bit more so that is I'm nude on the lips they are a very long lasting liquid lipstick they are very nice matte formula I feel like they're very comfortable on the lips some of them range from different formulas and if they've been sitting up a little bit just give them a good old shake the best thing to do is to give them a bit of a shake before use as well. Now if it's on a hot day as well, make sure you just keep them in the lip in the lipstick in the fridge for a little bit and then take them out, give them a bit of a mix up. So the next shade I'm going to go into is Mannequin. This is one of my favorite nude shades of all time. I can put this on before work and it will be still on after I finish so it is amazing long-lasting shade so this is what it looks like in the tube this is what mannequin looks like swatched on the hand this shade you only need to go in with one layer so this is what mannequin looks like very beautiful mid-tone nude color Another thing too is if you have a bit more pigmented lips, it will definitely show up a little bit more darker as well. I have kind of lightish lips so I can get away with it. So it will definitely show up a little bit more, yeah, lighter. So the next shade I'm going to go in with is my first ever Jeffree Star liquid lipstick, which is Celebrity Skin. This is the most beautiful. It is very similar to... Uh, Velvet Teddy by MAC. Just a bit more darker. That's what Celebrity Skin looks like. And I'll show you what the tube looks like. And I love this formula too. You'll only need one layer and you're good to go. I love the lightweight formula of these as well. This is what Celebrity Skin looks like. The next shade here I have is Posh Spice. 
it's just this very cool tone nude shade very grey nude this is what the swatch looks like Definitely need, only need one swipe, one dip for this shade. So this is what Posh Spice looks like. The next shade I have here is Rose Matter. It's a very pretty rosy pink warm shade. And the swatch looks like this. And this is what it looks like in the tube. And this is what Rose Matter looks like. It definitely looks a lot more brighter on my lips than what it compares to in the tube. It looks a little bit more darker. But this is what Rose Matter looks like on my lips. Most of these all have a root beer scent to them. So the next shade I have here is Gemini. This is what it looks like in the tube. It's beautiful terracotta brick. More of a red-brown type of deal. This is what it looks like swatched on my hand. And you definitely only need one dip with that as well. And this is what Gemini looks like. Definitely runs more of a red brick shade on me. Next shade we have here is Leo. This is more of a brown compared to Gemini, but it's still got like a little flecks of, it's got little red undertones, but it runs more brown of a brown shade. This is what it looks like in the tube. They're definitely very similar. But as I said, Leo, uh, Gemini is a bit more warmer. This one's a bit more brown and cooler. Just a smidge, but they are different. This definitely runs more brown on me. This is what Leo looks like. And you definitely only need one dip of it as well. It's very pigmented, not streaky at all. Next shade I have is Doll Parts. It's a very cool tone pink shade. It just looks like this in the tube. And that's what it looks like swatched on my arm. My arm's getting a little bit red from all the swatches. My lips actually feel not too bad. But this is what Doll Parts look like. It's definitely a very cool tone pink shade with just a hint of lilac, I would say. So a hint of purple, I think. But this is what it looks like on me. And you definitely only need one dip of this. And it's a bit more, it's, it's a slightly more of a moussey texture as well. I find that going in with more of the darky shade darker shades. They're a little bit more moussier than the other ones, but they're still very lightweight. Next shade is the famous Androgyny shade. This had the first year that it came out, when he first came out with this, sold out instantly and he had so many requests to get it back. It's a very deep mauve, purpley nude shade. That's my best way to describe it. This is what it looks like on my wrist. As I said, a very deep purpley mauvey nude shade. This is what it looks like in the tube. It's definitely, it definitely looks a lot more darker in the tube. So it definitely runs a bit more purpley on my skin tone, 
and it's a lot more dark as well, I've found. So this is what androgyny looks like on me. Definitely must have in any collection, I think, if you like those vampy shades. Now the other, the more darker shades are definitely harder to take off and they stain really good. And you definitely only need to dip in once with this. Next shade we have is Flame Thrower. So this is what it looks like up close. It's a bright Fanta orange shade. Now this one tends to get a little bit streaky and if it is on a hot day and you need to go in with it, I would chuck it in the fridge for a little bit to prevent that. And this is definitely a more thicker, moussier texture than the other ones. It just looks like this. Yeah, it's definitely a bit more harder to work with. You definitely need to go in with two coats. And you can't really go like this much. Or it will separate a little bit and it dries actually quicker than the other ones because it's more of a moussey texture as well just a little bit more thicker this is what flame thrower looks like flame thrower was so hard to get off the next shade I have here is masochist it's a beautiful deep hot pink fuchsia shade this is what it looks like swatched on my and it's a very thick formula but you definitely only need one swipe with this and it will not crack or anything I find that it does, when you eat it does get everywhere so you just have to be careful when eating and wearing this can still see the orange but this is what it looks like on now this one's hard to get off as well just because it's such a bright deep shade so the lucky last sh I had to book out my lips because they were so pink from that masochist shade next shade I have is a dominatrix which is a very dark true warm brown shade this is what it looks like in the tube. It looks a little bit more darker than what it swatches. And this is what it swatches like. So this is what Dominatrix looks like on. It's a very thick formula as well, just like Masochist. And you definitely only need one swipe with this. And you have to be very careful when applying this and that's what Dominatrix looks like it looks very dark almost like dark it looks like dark chocolate on my lips so this is what it looks like and that was the last shade of my collection there's definitely a lot more I gravitate more towards nude shades in my liquid lipsticks and a pop of colour here and there. I definitely love the formula of Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. I think they're one of the top liquid lipsticks out there. He definitely has a range of colours. Definitely if you want to start off with the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks, liquid lipstick, either go with Mannequin or Celebrity Skin. I think that would be your best bet. They are definitely worth the price tag, I find. I hope this video was helpful in any way. And if you like the, this video, give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you would like to be notified every time I upload a video, please click that little bell button down below and you'll get a post notification. And until the next video, guys, bye!